For the second time, the UCI City Mountain Bike Eliminator is hosted by Apeldoorn in the Netherlands, nice and cozy town in the north of the Netherlands that is known as a cycling country. It's the fourth race of the season and home rider Jeroen van Eck is defending his overall leading position in the men's category. I think it's uh, like a trophy uh, of hard work, um, but we have still four races to go, so a lot can happen. Uh, but yeah, of course, I'm proud to, to wear the leader's jersey here, that's for sure. Last year I crashed in the half finals, uh, couldn't finish the half finals as well, so I was out. Um, no, no revenge, just uh, pushing hard and uh, trying to do everything right, and uh, we will see what happened then. The Norwegian Ingrid Bo Jacobsen won two out of three so far, and again, she's the big favorite. I'm st still in the over lead, at least. Well, uh, it's going to be an exciting race today. It's a different course than it was uh, the other previous races. As always, it's a unique trail. <laughs> but the competition is tough, and all competitors aim for the best result here in Apeldoorn. I'm happy to be back here because last year I won, so these are very good memories, and I am looking forward to it. The pressure of the pneus will be very important today. It's a circuit ultra roulant. Ça va être très très physique avec les portions de ligne droite dès le départ, tout ça après le safety jogger. La course va être très dure. Yeah, the legs are pretty good, I think. Uh, last week we were in uh, the UCI day bike World Cup in La Bresse and uh, I was in pretty good shape, so I think today it's gonna be cool. I win uh, the European champion two times, the world championship. Uh, one time, but uh, never, never World Cup win, and uh, yes, uh, it's my big goal today, uh, take my, my first World Cup win. In the ladies' corner, they are still smiling and warming up side by side, but it's only the silence before the storm. Uh, the feeling is good, I hope. Uh, yesterday in the road race, uh, I crashed, but uh, yeah, now with, uh, with the course check, uh, it feels good, so uh, I hope with the time try, uh, it also feels uh, good. They're all are strong, uh, the European champion is there, the Scandinavians are strong, uh, the Norwegian very strong, so let's uh, wait and see what happens. It will be fun racing and I like the course, so it will be good. So let's go. The track swings over the marketplace, so let's ride along with last year's winner here in Apeldoorn, the German Simon Gegenheimer. Apeldoorn is a flat but very physical track, a very fast start will be crucial to enter the first turn in the lead. After that, the track is a continuous sequence of straights where acceleration power and handy turning skills will decide on a win or a loss. We have some spectacular jumps and then some tricky turns to enter the final part of the track. The final straight, well, it's going to be fun, that's for sure. So after three races, the overall standings look as follows. First, the women with Jacobsen in the lead. Holmerget, Popova and Klausur have to hope for an off day of the Norwegian to catch up a bit. In the men's individual standings, Jeroen van Eck has a small lead on Ceres. Priyata, Peregagné and Graswinner Federspiel are in desperate need of catching up points. The first part of each contest is a qualifying time trial. One lap against the clock, 500 meters in which each competitor has to try and beat herself or himself. Giving it all is the main mission. It's like groping in the dark and hoping that the effort delivered will be sufficient for a good starting position in the main race. The actual women's leader, Ingrid Bo Jacobsen, comes in fifth, only fifth, one could state, but it's a well thought out and calculated qualifying result. I, I hardly ever do any great prologues or qualifications when I'm really satisfied with, but I, I don't do that bad either. But now, 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 as you said, now, now we begin. It's uh, here, here up until the finals. That's, that's what really counts. European champion, the Ukrainian Irina Popova, is a size faster than Jacobsen and finishes fourth. With the French Colin Closure and the Polish Marto Turobos faster than Popova, all eyes are pointed towards the Dutch rider Lizzie Whitlocks. Her main goal for the coming season is cyclocross, but if the program allows it, she tries to fit in these city mountain bike races as a kind of highly advanced training sessions. 
And this approach seems to work out. She clocks the best time. Whitlocks is satisfied. I thought uh, that my time trial wasn't so good, um, but uh, yeah, I had the fastest time, so uh, it's, uh, it's really good to start so uh, the qualifications. These are the results of the women's qualification in Apeldoorn, fourth race of the season. In the men's qualification, European champ Titouan Pere Gagné only finishes on a disappointing ninth place. With his sixth position, Gegenheimer knows that he will have to do better in the race. The Belgian champion Fabrice Mels finished third in Graz. In Apeldoorn he comes seven hundredths of a second too short to qualify third. It is Jeroen van Eck who is very focused and he will claim third place. On top of this qualifier it is France that is in the center of the attention. Lorenzo Ceres is more than half a second faster than van Eck. And the qualifying winner, Hugo Briata, can still squeeze off a couple of hundreds. The French riders are clearly in top shape and it will be extremely hard to beat these guys. Uh, that's not the first time for me uh, that I win the time trial. So we have a strong tab uh, today with Citroën. Uh, so we are going to be strong. And uh, the race uh, is, will be very tactical, I think. Uh, not so physical uh, like uh, the other race in Graz and Volterra. Let's have a look at the men's qualification results here in Apeldoorn. Up to the quarterfinals women and the first heat with uh, for the Netherlands. Lizzie Whitlocks with number one. Anna Stray uh, Rongve for Norway with number nine. And Ella Holmegert for Sweden taking the lead with number eight. Very interesting, there are only three and uh, two qualify for the next stage. Nice start of uh, Holmegert, number two in the overall uh, standings. Ah, Lissy Whitlock's taking over as expected. She keeps the race under control. And then uh, all by all, easy win for Whitlock's, last year's winner here in Apeldoorn. She qualifies for the semis, as does Ella Holmegert. In the second heat, Irene Geritsen, Irina Popova, Ingrid Jacobsen and Linja de Jonge are competing. And an uh, interesting uh, duel between uh, Jacobsen and uh, Popova. Jacobsen leading in front of uh, Popova. The two young uh, Dutch riders are trying to keep up. Jacobsen setting the pace. Popova keeping up, going into the second lap, and still Jacobsen leading, just in front of uh, Popova, controlling and finishing one and two. Third heat, and uh, we see Clara Brain for Germany, Marta Turobos for Poland, and Margot Borelli for France. Marta Turobos was second in the time trials. Her condition is growing, her state of mind is great. And she's aiming for more points in this championship. Turobos and Brain in front. Borelli trying to keep up, but uh, she's having troubles. Can she keep up this uh, very high pace in this race? End of the first lap, going into the second. Positions still the same, with Turobos in the lead and Brain nearby. And then uh, Borrell is coming uh, closer. Ah, that's very interesting for the last part of this race. Can she pick up a piece of this game, Borelli? Has she some power left? No, it's uh, Turobos and Brame qualifying for the next stage. In the final quarter final heat, we have three riders competing for two places in the semi calling closure for France. Mylon Muller for Germany and Lotte Koltmans for the Netherlands, as expected. A fast and clean and skillful ride of Closure and Muller. Koltmans just a little bit too light for this kind of competition. They handle the job with care. Closure and Muller qualifying for the semis. Men's quarter final and uh, four heats. 
first heat with uh, Perret Gagné on uh, the left. Uh, Puyo Briata as well. Levi Bram for the Netherlands and uh, Stefan Thun for Germany. It's a uh, final worthy contest here. Nice fight with the French riders dictating the pace. Perret Gagné leading in front of uh, Briata. Places are already divided and it's clear that uh, Titouan, Perret Gagné and uh, Briata will qualify. Fun combined with focused action, an ideal combination for the best result. Mels, Olstam, Hebing and Perez in the second heat of this quarterfinals. And a move of Perez closing the door. Not so nice, but Olstam taking profit of the situation and taking the lead. Anton Olstam, great move. A little bit cunning, but taking profit of a situation. A door that was closed for the others and open for him. And he jumped into that hole, took immediately the lead and he's away. He's gone. Problems. Problems for Hebbing. Chain problem. And we have here her fight going in the final lap, into the final lap. And Nels taking over second position. The rest now third. One and two qualify. All stomp. Still controlling, Mel's looking uh, backwards. Where's the competition? Competition is there, but uh, meaning no big trouble so far, unless Perez has something to finish. Mel's keeps the cool, holds down with no problems, and uh, Mel's controlling and also qualifying for the next stage. The third heat with Steibel, Bitterbier, Ceres and the Klausmann. Nice move. Klausmann taking an immediate lead. The German rider, Felix Klausmann. Great start. Bitterbier and uh, Ceres a little bit surprised maybe because of this uh, great start of uh, the German. Now coming through the inside or trying to come to the inside. Jay Bitterbier, his move did not succeed, but now he takes over and we have Ceres and Bitterbier on one and two. Klausman third and uh, further away, Eddie Steibel, French rider. What a great move of uh, Ceres and uh, Bitterbier, the Belgian rider Jay Bitterbier. Are they going for one and two? The final straight, the final straight. And there is Klausman, there is Klausman, there is Klausman, a close finish! Uh, who is uh, qualifying for the next stage? Is it Bitterbier or uh, is it uh, Klausman? Control of the situation. And here we see a slight advantage for Jay Bitterbier. He qualifies for the next stage. Fourth heat and the battle for the final two places in the semis is on with Van Eck, Gegenheimer, Achterberg and Helin. Van Eck and Gegenheimer. Van Eck leading, Gegenheimer in his wheel. The Red Bull turn, nice ramp, nice jumps. Whoa, 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 what a race. These two are really going very fast. But Van Eck, the actual leader in the standings after three races. Keeping the lead. What a technique. Jumping. Another jump, yes. Gegenheimer looks around and it's uh, indeed Van Eck and uh, Gegenheimer qualifying for the next one. Semi-finals time and we kick off with the first women's with Lizzie Whitlock's Irina Popova, Ingrid Jacobsen and Ella Helmegert. Very fast start of uh, Whitlock's, we're used to that. Second position we have uh, Jacobsen, Popova trying, uh, trying to come uh, uh, through the inside and there Jacobsen and uh, Popova! Crashing and falling. Oh, what a drama. Two big favorites. Two big favorites are eliminated. Can did be through. Jacobsen last year also 
uh, already falling in an early stage of uh, this competition. And now again, while well, she's hanging a little bit uh, on the outside, uh, losing uh, the balance and uh, taking uh, Popova uh, in her fall. And so an easy win for uh, Lizzie Whitlocks winning uh, this uh, semi-final and qualifying together with uh, Ella Helmegert. Well, Helmegert coming in and uh, Lizzie Whitlocks. I felt good. Uh, I feel I could have had something to do in the final today. Uh, last year I crashed in the qualification here, so I kind of kind of bad vibe between me and Appledorn, but uh, I mean that's part of the racing and, and you, sometimes you win these battles and you get through it, sometimes you crash and uh, it sucks and uh, hurts, hurts a little bit even, uh, even now, every now and then, but uh, that's racing, there's nothing you can do about it now, you just finish the small final and move on. Second semi-final with Mylan Müller, calling closer for France. Poland, Marta Turobos, and uh, for Germany, Clara Brehm, the youngest of uh, all uh, four. Closure, she's a fast starter, going into the first turn as the leader. Turobos having uh, some problems there. A good move of uh, Clara Brehm. Mylan Müller. Still in uh, the neighborhood, so uh, racing pretty okay. Turobos still uh, third. She's having uh, problems with uh, the pace set by uh, Closure and uh, Brehm still keeping up very nicely. That would be a nice surprise. Is uh, Turobos coming back or is it uh, Brehm? Yes, finishing second and qualifying for the final. The men's semis with uh, Anton Olstam, Hugo Briata, Fabrice Mels, and uh, finally Titouan Perrin Gagné. Four fast riders, and it will be interesting to see who is going into the first turn. Uh, Mels seeming to be first. Uh, there is uh, uh, Briata. Oh, what a great move of Titouan! What a great move of Titouan! Taking advantage of this uh, slight hesitation and this slight going outwards of uh, uh, these two, uh, Briata and Mels. He took the inside and uh, he takes the lead. What a fine, uh, very cunning move of Titouan Perrin Gagné. Still now, no, Briata taken over by uh, uh, Mels. Mels and uh, Briata in a fight. Watch out for Alstom. Briata now in fourth position. Uh, Gagne still leading when going into the second lap. Uh, Alstom taking the inside. Moving, pushing Mels aside. And now we have a fight in between uh, Briata and Mels. Mels now fourth. Briata moved up to second, no, third position. Oh, 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 there is uh, Alstom. Alstom taking over uh, Titua. Titouan now second, uh, Olstam leading, uh, Titouan second, uh, Briata, Briata moving forwards, moving forward, he is uh, going for uh, Titouan's wheel, and where is Mels? Mels knows that uh, the game is over, and it'll be in between these three with Olstam and uh, Titouan, uh, who qualify for the next uh, stage. Second uh, semi-final with Jeroen van Eck, the home rider. Uh, Simon Gegenheim, last year's winner. Lorenzo Ceres, second in the time trials. And Jay Bitterbeer, the Belgian rider. The start and uh, Gegenheimer taking uh, the best start. Uh, van Eck, uh, is he coming back? No, it's Gegenheimer taking uh, the lead in this uh, early stage of uh, this race. Van Eck second, uh, Jay Bitterbeer trying to move to third, coming through the inside. Uh, Ceres taking over again, or trying to take over again. This is a uh, tight fighting. And uh, in front, still uh, in the lead. Simon Gegenheim, Jeroen Van Eck. Uh, if he can keep uh, up the pace, 
of uh, Gegenheimer. He knows that he will qualify for the finals, that's for sure. Uh, how much power is there uh, in the legs of uh, Ceres? He's having trouble to keep up with uh, Jay Bitterbeer. Bitterbeer still in uh, third position. Uh, the leader, Simon uh, Gegenheimer, leading in front of uh, Jeroen Vanek. Uh, there, the Ceres move. The Ceres move to uh, third position. Ceres third. Bitterbeer now fourth. Uh, Gegenheimer moving forward. He's taking some advantage. Here the final sprint with uh, Van Eck and yes, uh, Kegenheimer qualifying for the finals. It's going good so far and I'm in the final. So one heat to go. It was a tough race. It's a tough race for sure. Every heat, doesn't matter which competitors are in the heat. It's just two minutes and there are a lot of fast guys who can ride two minutes fast. And so we've come to the final stage of the Apeldoorn race with first the B final women with uh, Muller, Popova, Turobos and Jacobsen. Jacobsen uh, has to try to control the damage and collect as many points as possible in the race. And it's exactly what she does. The B final men with a uh, very spectacular fall of uh, Hugo Briata. An early crash, a very early crash in this uh, race. A uh, race finished for Briata and a win for Mels. I had a mechanical problem at the start with my pedal and I, I felt uh, just after 10, 20 meters maybe. So that's mountain bike. Who will claim the highest spot on the podium? Let's kick off with the women with Lizzie Whitlocks. Going closer. Claire uh, Graham and Ella Holmegert. If Holmegert can win this final, she makes a big move forward and she could come a lot closer to the actual leader, Ingrid Bo Jacobsen. And it's uh, Whitlock's taking an immediate lead. Uh, closer in uh, second. And uh, Holmegert so far uh, only a third. She will have to work hard to uh, come over these two in front with Lizzie Whitlock's last year's winner. And here again, very strong, very fast. She won't be uh, with us in Winterberg because she has a cyclocross race uh, to uh, uh, ride. So that's a little bit uh, a pity and uh, maybe interesting for Closure. Can Closure catch up with Whitlock's? That's trying hard. Uh, but watch out for Helmaget. Helmaget uh, is uh, trying to attack, is trying to close in on uh, uh, Closure. He's taking uh, the wheel. Closure. Closure is a fast sprinter and uh, Whitlock's winning this race here in Apeldoorn. The men's final with Van Eck. Home rider. Olstam. Always dangerous. Perret Gagné. Ah, we've seen him making nice moves and uh, this Gegenheimer, Simon Gegenheimer, the winner of last year, last year's winner, taking a great start again, leading in the first turn before in front of uh, Van Eck. Then we have Olstam, uh, Titouan, uh, last position, but this is not a uh, disadvantage. Uh, Olstam, great move. Taking over uh, Van Eck, uh, now second, uh, Van Eck third. Still in the lead. Ah, interesting duel. Tituha! He does it again! He does it again! Tituha taking uh, the inside and moving to second. Uh, Vanek still third. And uh, Gegenheimer. Gegenheimer uh, as a leader into the second lap with uh, Tituha in uh, second. And Vanek third. Can he catch up with uh, Tituha? Perret Gagné. Perret Gagné. Uh, trying uh, to uh, attack, trying to attack Gegenheimer, but it's Gegenheimer winning this race in Apeldoorn, as he did last year. Yeah, it was always close. I, I hear the, the competitors in the back, so I went all, all out of each corner with full gas. And in the sprint, in the final, it was super close, but I'm really happy. The Apeldoorn 2018 results with uh, the women uh, Lizzie Whitlock's winning this race here, the fourth of the season. The men's table is introduced by Simon Gegenheimer.
The overall standings after four races, the winner's table, Ingrid Bird Jacobson still in the lead. She's uh, 65 points ahead of uh, Holmegert. Closer is third. I'm still in the lead and I'm really happy about that. And uh, it's a long, long season and you have to do well in all the races to keep the jersey. And uh, I, I still have it. We'll see. There's three more races to go and um, we'll see who gets it at the end. Flying Dutchman Jeroen van Eck is still the leader with Winterberg coming on. His lead 29 points on the second, Ceres, and 33 points on Perrin Gagné. Yeah, looking forward to the next races and we will see what happens there. I mean, I can't uh, look into the future. I can only uh, ride as, high as, as fast as I can. Thanks for watching us and see you at the next race in Winterberg.